Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Not everybody, and don't miss this, not everybody is going to get what they deserve. And, and, and you're probably thinking about this backwards, but look, if you're saved, you are not going to get what you deserve. You see where I'm headed with this? Because when Jesus was on the cross and he said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He got what you deserve. When John 3.36 states, the wrath of God abides on him, it's because the wrath of God abided on him and not you. That's why you won't get what you deserve. Everybody else, listen to me, everybody else is dead sure going to get what they deserve. They're going to get what they deserve. And you know what? Whether or not they think it's fair, it makes no difference. Because you know what? Fair to us is relative. It's amazing how fast a society can change the meaning of words. We change the meaning. I mean, just imagine 70, 80 years ago. Imagine some of the things that that, you know, imagine the government sending checks to somebody 70 or 80 years ago. A man would be insulted. A man would be insulted. How do I know? Because I know men in my family that were insulted 70, 80 years ago when the first Social Security check showed up on the doorstep. Like, who do they think they are? Send it back. But we've sure gotten used to it, haven't we? Look, not everyone... You know, you, know, you know what we deserve? The Bible says the wages of sin is death. That's what people deserve. And guess what? You know what? That's fair. You say it doesn't sound fair. God's a meanie head. It doesn't matter what you think. That's fair. Just because you've changed the meaning of fair doesn't mean, look, God doesn't change. Just because we've changed the meaning of love, I'm glad that Jesus Christ didn't you know change the meaning of love because love to him meant he actually did what he was supposed to do no matter what love wasn't a, oh oh love you buddy not gonna do that though no love is sacrifice so we can change all these meetings and we can water down these words we can literally change the English language which is what we're doing but it doesn't matter because God doesn't change Many of these words, like repentance, that word, you actually have to go like look it up in like past dictionaries to get the true meaning. Because we've, we've changed the meaning so thoroughly in our own language. But God's definitions don't change. Right and wrong doesn't change. What's fair doesn't change. The wages of sin is death is fair. And people are going to get what they deserve. But you're not. And that's why we need to get out and give as many people the opportunity to not get what they deserve. Because look, it, it's going to be fair. <laughs> Whatever you think fair is, these are the wages. And it's going to be fair. And if you're not saved, you're going to have a lot of debt and you're going to pay. Because Jesus paid. I mean, Jesus paid it. And it's there. And it's there for the taking, but if you don't take it, you're going to pay. You're going to pay. I think about that a lot. I think about that a lot when you get that nice guy who's just, you know, he, 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 you knock on his door, and you guys have probably heard me say this, you know, like this nice guy, and you're just like, come on, you know, he's like, ah, no, I, you know, ah, I'm cooking ramen noodles. <laughs> you know, you're just like, that guy, that nice guy, he's going to pay. He's going to pay forever, for eternity. And you know what? You're like, it seems harsh. It's fair. Forget what you think. I mean, you gotta, you gotta forget what you think. And just listen to what the Bible says. Because fair is gonna be fair. That's it. Because when, when God turned his back on Jesus and that wrath came on Jesus for the sin of the world, he became sin for us. You know what? That's what God's looking at. He's like, you know what? I did that. I did that to my own son. He suffered the, the worst punishment that anyone in the history of anything could ever imagine that we will never know. 
He's like, and you're just, and it's right there. And you're not going to take it. And you got all this sin debt. He's like, you're just going to pay. That was your chance. It's fair. And if you don't think it's fair, you completely misunderstand Matthew 27. You completely, if you don't think it's fair, you completely misunderstand the sacrifice and what was, what was accomplished in the sacrifice. It's fair.